This was Detroit in the 1960s and well into the 1970s. Almost every other Saturday night, 8,000 wrestling fans, sometimes even more, showed up at air-conditioned Kobo Arena and watched grown men gouge, body slam, drop kick, and pummel each other, sometimes until blood flowed. Abdul is going for something in his boot. Neither one of these guys are uh, the cleanest wrestlers on earth, Jeff. It's a bloodbath. We were advised to get away from ringside for this match, and we did. Was it fake? Was it real? Did it matter? This was a soap opera with good guys, bad guys, in a morality play that whipped the crowd into full-on bloodlust. And it was a TV show. In this Detroit History podcast, we'll dissect wrestling in Detroit in the 1960s and how wrestling and TV became dependent upon each other. And as TV demanded more violence, a wrestler by the name of The Sheik was only too happy to oblige. Wrestling historians say it was The Sheik who introduced industrial-sized violence to the show, something that remains to this day. And we'll tell it all by telling the story of The Sheik, one of the most famous bad guys in wrestling history. You must face The Sheik, the most feared man in wrestling, the man that's been barred from more arenas than any other wrestler.